Today we're talking about a video you requested from uh, my voting little poll that I did and you requested a video of five brands I don't buy from. So these are the brands that I don't have any bottles from, fragrance brands, the fragrance houses that I just either don't like or don't own any bottles or don't buy from at all. So if you're curious which brands they are, then definitely stay tuned and you'll know why. Three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica Choch and on this channel we talk about fragrances, colognes, anything to do with scents. So if you're interested in that, press that subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos when I post next. And let's get on with today's video. So this is strictly for entertainment purposes and I wonder if you have noticed these fragrance houses that I don't really share. Number five. Givenchy. This house is a curious one for me because I haven't found a fragrance that I really really love from their female line for women and I haven't found one from their male um, section so I just I like them like enough to just be like oh this is nice but nothing spectacular. I haven't been wowed by, by their fragrances but in the future I'm open. I'm always open to you know smell uh, fragrances fragrances, new releases and see what I think because sometimes it's either that that you just I don't align maybe with what their uh, marketing and like what kind of fragrances they want to push I'm just not the target market or it might be that I just might change my mind in five years and I might love all Givenchy fragrances, I don't know. But at the moment, I know you guys love uh, Givenchy for men and all of those, but I'm like, they're okay, but they're nothing special. So number four will have to be eccentric molecules. And I have talked about them before because it's a brand that many people just hype up so much and love. And um, I really want to get it. I really want to get the hype. I've bought recently just about a month ago two new samples from the line um, and even before that I I tested different fragrances from the, the line molecule one molecule two eccentric molecules like all of them I've tried them multiple times on my skin and for some reason they always smell like BO on my skin they just there's just something that doesn't go with my skin chemistry I feel like maybe it just maybe for other people when they smell it on me they would like it but me myself I can really smell it really strongly when I wear it, at least the samples that I've got because I have really tried giving them a chance and worn them and I just I just couldn't wear them. Just really unattractive scents so I'm really sorry. Numero tre is Jo Malone and I know so many people love Jo Malone but for me the problem with their fragrances I have to really love a fragrance to wear it for it to not be long lasting and with their fragrances they have loads of lovely light fragrances that don't last at all and that's my real issue with the brand because the price point is very high and they encourage you to lay a scent so <laughs> you're purchasing for example like two different fragrances that you want to layer and they'll cost you 200 pounds plus and they just won't last they're nice they're almost like like very diluted fragrances i can't part with my money for simple scents like that that won't last i like two of the fragrances the rose one in the black bottles uh, i like two in the black bottle design the rose one and something else but the rose one is really similar to um, noir de noir from tom ford and that one from tom ford lasts a longer amount of time so i just i wish i loved them but i i just I just can't. Number two from fragrance balance that I don't really love that much is Clive Christian. And they are very, very expensive. I think they are one of the most expensive fragrance brands on the market. And I've 
got one bottle of Clive Christian in my collection, but I haven't bought it. <laughs> so this still applies. I haven't bought it. I was given it by one of the fragrance reviewers just to test and oh, I just don't really like that one. And I have tested numerous ones and I think they're very, very strong. Not my taste exactly of what I look for in a fragrance. And I think their price point is too much for, <laughs> for me to spend on a fragrance that I don't like. I hope you guys get it because some fragrances if I really love something I am that person that will spend 500 pounds on a fragrance that I really love but I just none of the fragrances really wow me but you know there's always new releases and maybe I'll, I'll discover a fragrance from Clive Christian that I absolutely love. And number one but this is not like number one of the most hated this is in no particular order really Juliet has a gun and I haven't bought any fragrances from Juliet has a gun I don't really like the the one that is also on Broxen pretty much straight up not a perfume that one because it's very similar in the scent to eccentric molecules and that just doesn't work on me they've got another red fragrance that is very very similar to your hypnotic poison or the toilette and I like that one but I can get the your hypnotic poison on the toilet for a more affordable price and I enjoy the scent more actually. I enjoy vanilla vibes again but it's a very simple fragrance and I would possibly buy it but it's very simple easy to like it's a bit too simple for me to spend my money on and I always just I don't know there's just something about this brand that I really want to love but because one of the most popular fragrances is not a perfume I just I don't really get the hype and the price point of that fragrance and with the other ones I can find a cheaper alternative so hopefully in the future they'll release a fragrance that I'll absolutely love and I can't find anywhere else and I'll just part with my money for that but until then stay tuned maybe I'll be converted into Juliet has a gun lover but not for now let me know which fragrance houses you haven't bought from before or you don't really get the hype let me know if you have any fragrances from any of these brands that you love and you want me to retry or you know give them a second chance uh, I think it'll be interesting to know because this is not a hate video I don't hate any of these brands but I just you know when you just don't gravitate toward a brand that much or you just wish they did something that excited you a bit more so maybe that'll change in the future uh, and you'll see more of these fragrance houses um, in my videos but not for now do you see my little merch t-shirt? I have come out with my own little merch and I hope you guys like it. I always link it uh, under my videos uh, for you just so you can check it out. And subscribe to this channel, press the notification bell and remember if you love a fragrance, just wear it no matter what the marketing team are telling you. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye guys.